Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 77 of Ranwin Parked, the show where myself, Cone Dodger, Kurt J. Mack, and ZK find car ads from around the internet and bring them to you so that you can point and laugh at us for having terrible taste. Hi. Hello. I, I appreciate me, that you pronounced the comma this time. <laughs> How do you... Pr Never mind. Just <laughs> Kurt, Kurt apparently has impeccable taste. <laughs> True, yes. I have yet to be proven otherwise. I mean, it's pretty true by, like, actual... If 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 a bring-a-trailer blog writer was, was writing an article about you, they would, they would call you an idol. They wouldn't give you a job, though. They would just call you an no, idol. No, of course not. <laughs> uh, and they would say... Why aren't you selling more of your cars on here and giving us that juicy, juicy commission? Juicy? <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. I forgot to get pictures from you. Uh, not about the juicy. Uh, about <laughs> about your bumpers. Hey. My I, bumpers? I meant to get pictures from you. Did you, because you test fit the chrome ones, right? I did. I'm more than test fit. I'm just, I didn't even like bother cleaning them up. I just like was like, bloop, bloop, bloop. Oh. Get them on there. So they're permanent now. No, well, no, not permanent. They're permanent. I don't, well, they're never going to be permanent. They're but, permanent. <laughs> uh, I had to, I had to go to the hardware store to get some uh, of the, uh, just a little uh, screw nut. Carriage that, bolt. <laughs> sure. No, okay. I don't know what that is. I don't know these terms. But anyway, mm -hmm. I have the uh, the brackets that held the aftermarket the aluminum grill right. are the same ones that you can do the conversion with with the front ones. But I still need the side that go into the fender. The side, right. So we're just kind uh, of free hanging on the sides right now. Exactly, yes. And I needed to go... It needs to go from the inside out. Unfortunately, that's the same on the back, except you can't access the inside right. of the rear fender unless you also completely disassemble the interior panels. So I think I'm going to try to put a rib nut so I can go from the outside in with yeah. the same sort of bracket. Yeah. So that's my plan. So that I had to get some logical. little things for that. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I'm, I, I mean, they're definitely a lot cheaper. Because <laughs> for some reason, I got a good deal. Um, but yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna like, cause they're all rusty, like on the inside. Right. Uh, I was gonna like sand them out and like spray them down with like rust converter or whatever it's mm -hmm. called, but I probably won't do that. <laughs> it's those, it's those <laughs> sort of unnecessary steps that yeah. make me not do a project and then they will never go on the and car. By, by the time that rust like comes through to the outside of that bumper, we will be dead and gone. <laughs> yes, no, it won't be my problem anymore. It will not be any of our problems. So, yeah, um, I'm happy. I'm happy with the way they look. They, they it matches the car. Like the other yeah. ones are like too straight and slim and nice. <laughs> that's that's I, a good point of like putting new stuff on something that looks kind of like I don't want to say patinaed, but like putting new things on a patinaed car definitely is clashy. So, I was feeling the class. So yes, I'm happy. I'm happy with this this adjustment. Now I just need to find somebody in my local area to buy some. Oh come on! It's got to be at bumpers. least dozens, dozens of middle aged men <laughs> looking for <laughs> bumpers for their scene <laughs> in the Pacific Northwest. Um, I approve of it. I I personally really prefer the chrome bumper look, and I also mm. agree that. They they just they're probably gonna look a lot less less clashy, being a little beat up. Right. Good. Glad to hear it. Glad. Be positive. Good tastes. Making all the right moves. Yet to be proven wrong in that. Chef's kiss, just like Hello Fresh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as far as I know, the only thing that ZK's done is. Uh, gotten more views than Randwood Parks has ever gotten by simply turning on a mill? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand that either. I also spent like, I don't know, six hours 
refurbishing the vice for the mill on mm. Saturday or something. Just taking it apart and sanding it and getting the rust off and painting it. Seeing that it was now... broken. Huh? No, I was about to say, were you watching the stream that I was just streaming? That is going to make total relevant sense to the viewers of Ramwood Park. Of course. But the in the garage of Dinosaur Fossil Hunter sitting right next to each other is an old lathe and an old milling machine mm -hmm. that look exactly like yours except they're like green or something like that well, like, <laughs> i gotta go look at it i was there for the beginning and i mean it's, it's like the ones that he have one the ones that he have the one that he has is like uh if you were to find the default look of those machines yes. for the last 50 <laughs> years that's what they look like <laughs> right no breed like it's a, it's a dinosaur fossil game no reason that they're even going to come into play they but, were on the asset were... store and they filled the space <laughs> <laughs> yes which is the same reason zk got them <laughs> um i didn't really do anything but I did make a sale based on Ranwin Parked because of basically a brand new viewer thanks to the fact that they went to the auction in which that pink Corvette was at. Like, they went to the same auction that the pink Corvette was going up for sale, they saw that thumbnail, they had seen like one previous episode and they were like, wait a minute, I've seen that car, I gotta watch this. Um, they made a comment about buying some, I don't even remember what kind of car it was. Uh, Lincoln, who knows? Some kind of Ford with the 352. And I was like, hey, if you ever need another one of those, hit me up. They hit me up and they <laughs> bought my 352. <laughs> ah. Yeah, like it just this this perfect storm of a, of a situation. I just kind of like jokingly said that, uh, but that uh, that auction was like quasi local to me, so therefore, you know, they were quasi local to that. And then in a couple messages, they were like, "Well, I don't really need it for this, but I've got a bunch of Ford trucks that need engines." And I was like, "I'm telling you, just I, I don't, I will never put this in anything. <laughs> like, I li literally the only thing this does is make me nervous every time I look at it that it's going to fall over." <laughs> um, so. I basically sold them a nice new Holly Carb and some engine attached to it. Some 800 pounds of cast iron. Yep. <laughs> yep. I do... I, I say I always said that the ZK way of selling things is the best way, where you go like, hey, you, buy this. <laughs> buy this. <laughs> yeah, well, isn't that, that's the Saab story. Right. right there, the yeah. Saab. It's like, hey, <laughs> I think you would want to buy this from me. And, you know and they go like, yeah, you know what? I would. <laughs> Uh, and would you believe it that this motor that spit coolant over my garage for uh, over a year now, as soon as we picked it up on the hoist, somehow still dumped like a gallon of coolant <laughs> out of it. I don't know where this engine was hiding coolant, but I'm just, I'm just glad that it cannot spew on my floor anymore. <laughs> so that's a, that's a Randwin parked first, that's for sure weird just weird so what's uh what's going to be our first this time uh the first nissan access i think you guys know what a nissan access is no oh no <laughs> i know of the quest but this looks smaller it is smaller this is a Warlog. extremely rare nissan access says the seller only brought to the u.s for the 1990 model year Roughly 8,000 of them were made. Not many survived. Has the drivetrain from a 240SX, a 2.4 four-cylinder, and a four-speed auto trans. Dual sliding doors, power windows, mirrors, and a large sunroof. Has AC but not working. Uh, runs and drives well. Has era-correct Panasport wheels. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. Era-correct. <laughs> I'm sure everybody who had a <laughs> Nissan Access also fit them. Those are worth $1,000. <laughs> Uh, 3800 bucks for, yeah, a, literally a one-year special van. It does have a KA. It is front-wheel drive, though. I was... Front-wheel drive? Yeah, I was convinced that it was... I was like, this is going to be amazing. It's going to be like a rear-wheel drive minivan with a KA in it. No, 
No, it's actually like a stanza. Like a stanza <sighs> front end. Yeah. <laughs> so there were Nissan vans that did have, I think it was a VG in it. Mm-hmm. That were real drive, and you could swap parts over. Have they seen a front-wheel drive KA? Now you have. Uh, there are front-wheel drive KAs in Altimas and Stanzas. Okay. And uh, those are just I don't cars think I just maybe Sentras. Don't care about right. There are cars you literally don't care about. Um, it is kind of like. It looks small. It is smaller. It's much smaller than the the following minivans. Obviously, they were like. This is too small. And they were like, all right, the next year, we're just not going to bring this I over. I like me a actual minivan, though. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate the fact that, like, the taillight panel and the, the writing on it is exactly like a 240. Mm-hmm. Very, very, very much so Nissan just, they stuck to a theme. <laughs> they didn't care <laughs> what they were making. Um, What's the safety rating of this? I would say probably not good. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you know, just, just throwing that question out there. Right, right. It doesn't have the automatic seatbelts, just like, okay, or a 240 as well. Oh, joy. <laughs> uh, it's, yeah, it's it's definitely, oh, I thought I had included a little bit of a, a wiki on there. But I did wiki it, and yes, it is. They did literally bring this in for one year. It is mostly a stanza, like, under the front end, so it's a single cam KA. Um, it's it's like a little tiny uh, wedge van. That's yeah, like a, a large Civic. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like that yeah. weird it's, in between. It is. I like, can't... tall wagon, small minivan. I yeah. Can't imagine why they only sold them for one year. I think it would have been fine. It was probably just like between model year. Right. How many? The 90s were weird. Here's a question: How many minivans with sliding rear doors have roll down windows like that? Yeah, they're probably just like door yeah. size, which is why there's two because it's like not big enough to crawl over the right. from it's, one seat well, to the next. It's sort of weird because like for a while there's just the one sliding door. Mm-hmm. And then now everything modern has the dual sliding doors. This one had the dual sliding doors. Yeah, they were ahead of the time. For dual yeah. sliding doors. But that is not very big of an opening for sliding doors. I, I think it goes more. Do you think? This is just, I think so. Yeah, just look at the bottom track. Right. It looks like there's still a few inches more behind there. Hey, hey now. <laughs> just that was that was uh that was the weirdest find that I've Although, found in a while. If you look at it. That doesn't, that rear track like is can, not very long. No, but it does look like you might be able to open the door past to where it like sticks past the back of the car. <laughs> like a Naruto run. Right. A minivan. <laughs> <laughs> There's your episode title. Make sure you write that down. <laughs> All right. That's, uh, that's going to be the one and only Nissan Access that will ever be on the show. I'm pretty sure of it. Um, actually a rare car for once. Yeah, actually rare for absolutely no reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Impeccable taste. <laughs> Impeccable taste. <laughs> this one I'm putting at the front. It's not a Ramwin Park, but I'm putting it at the front because I, I wish I had it last week when I had those two other electric cars. Because here's an 88... Suzuki Samurai fully electric for ninety five hundred dollars. Go electric on the cheap. <laughs> um, okay. This person's business specializes in electric vehicles, and as a side project, he does this on the side. Um, yada yada yada. Eighty horsepower induction. Thirteen. Kilowatts. That doesn't sound like a lot <laughs> for. <laughs> You can run Stock, it in... they had 80 horsepower. True. Fair. Yeah, yeah. It's, it could be an upgrade still. Uh, it runs through the uh, clutchless transmission. And he usually runs it in second and third gear almost exclusively. In second, you can get up to 40. Okay. Uh, this The weird interesting thing, it's kind of cut off on the bottom, but also, like, they have a way where they can plug it into an inverter and then, like 
plug it into their house, and he says he's like, during a power outage, I've ran my house off of it. Oh, so it's like a Ford it's Lightning. Like new F-150s. Yeah. yeah. Is that what they do too? Okay. I was yeah. about to say, like, that. why don't electric cars do that? Yeah, they, they, do, they do do that now. They're starting to. Yeah, they're starting to. Yeah, when I just... I actually think that's a cool feature. I just had a 10-hour power outage yesterday, and... My brother's brilliant advice was, ah, you should just go pre-order one of those Ford Lightnings. And I was like, no, no, <laughs> Lightning is why we have no power right now. <laughs> I might have done a lot of research and mes messaged an electrician today about generators. <laughs> yeah, we had a power outage the other day, and we had to we, we made breakfast on our camp stove outside. Ooh, fun. Good old national... <laughs> national? Uh, what am her, I don't know. Infrastructure? Just, oh, infrastructure. right. Yeah. 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 The hood scoop's cute. Yeah. Functional. I appreciate the Yeah, cools cools off your uh, batteries there. Yeah. Right it seems, the I mean, it seems like plate. this is what this guy does. Yeah. So it seems, unlike some other conversions we've seen, this seems very well engineered. There's more battery than that, right? Oh, okay. There's like more. The, yeah, the big battery. one in the back. That, that, yeah, that front was the motor. And, uh, I think that's a battery thing on the top, too. Might be. Maybe. Maybe oh. controls or something. Or maybe a control board. The, the conduit they're using is just like getting on my nerves. Yeah. <laughs> it's that like, conduit. yeah. Yeah. Even and though it's probably not. It's not, but it's... It. I think the part that gets on my nerves is how like intentionally futuristic it looks like yeah like a Jeez. bad uh, back to the future mm -hmm. um homage hey there's power seats <laughs> well there's nothing left in here because there's nothing to see <laughs> i don't the I don't inverter. Like these, the way that you lift these samurais with the shackles and everything, and then body lifts. Just yeah, just... samurais don't look good lifted. This is there's a that in the off-road world, that's going to be a very controversial opinion. But I think it's just that I don't like body lifts at all. Yeah. So Fair. when you do a body lift and a normal lift, it just looks stupid. So Kurt's kind of you've been looking for something that can go off-road. You need a <laughs> generator. I mean. <laughs> This seems to be a, a solution to all of your problems. Every single one of them. Mm -hmm. Speaking <laughs> of problems, what about... Oh, wait, first, an uh, update from the man. From the man! I don't think it's going on Bring a Trailer, because oh. they actually put a price, and they went almost half a million dollars for it. Oh, as if maybe half a million dollars was a little unrealistic for what Bring a Trailer was probably thinking. I mean, they've sold millions of dollar cars yeah, before, but, but like, still... This? Yeah, I don't... <laughs> I think they could probably get like 250 on bring a trailer maybe yeah maybe. i have a feeling that like that deal got ripped up when they were like so you know what yeah can we of... set the reserve at like yeah. four hundred thousand dollars right well but also apparently it's now fully imported and comes to the clear title oh now it does <laughs> now it does <laughs> oh, good <laughs> great <laughs> oh boy Okay. Oh boy. Like I was saying, problems. What about a oh boy. Mitsubishi Eclipse? It might have ran when parked. These came with four Gs uh, in them, huh? I thought they were all V6s. Uh, the V6 was an option, though. Mm. What, what are your opinions on the... It's not the second. Is this it, is third gen. Third and fourth gen yeah, Eclipse? Yeah, third and fourth, yeah. So the bubble one and then the... Well, the before this was the weird kind of 240-ish. I loved the one before this with the big... It had the large extra bump on the hood and, like, the huge bubble butt. Okay, so... That's second gen. Right? Is this the third or a fourth gen, then? I think this is third, and the fourth is the one with the little stripes all over it, right? On the sides? Yeah. I thought... Okay, I might have those backwards, then. I think. And then there was the last, last one. Anyway... Mm -hmm. Anyway, anyway, these are all one, like um, after glory days eclipses here. Yeah, um, at least it's not an eclipse cross. Is that what they call them? Something like that. Something the SUV thing. Anyway, um, very dirty in the photos. Yeah, I didn't, didn't see it. Um, no front bumper. Motor has locked up balancer shaft, which I didn't know could happen. Like the engine's not locked up, but the balancer shaft is. Oh. 
Yeah, that, um, that hurt my brain. A Gunther Chef Delete Kit, a <laughs> new timing belt, new oil pump and rod bearings. <laughs> belt strap seized up. Just bypass it. I don't need that no more. <laughs> but I would personally just drop in a used motor. Seven dollars. Oh boy. Yeah, these just got uglier, didn't they? I don't think they were ever good enough to offset how they look, but right. I do have a weird soft spot for this. Uh, this is a 2008, which is kind of weird because this is like an early 2000s bubble design. Mm -hmm. And everything was that kind of melty looking shape. But I think they were on the, I think they were late. Like they, they yeah. kept trying to push this bubble look way too long. And this nice cushy interior with all the parts in oh, the floor. Boy. Of course, it has and, a blow dart. <laughs> and, uh, Fujita. <laughs> now, Fujita? now I think, from my understanding from Rat, those are black walnuts. Those are not pecans. <laughs> <laughs> Thing has been eating and pooping there. That they have been. That they have been. I don't think you want walnuts in your Fujita intake. <laughs> <laughs> There's your oil pump. Uh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Part of the. It is a manual. Delete. Um, so something about like there's a dog. Dog. Um, two dogs. Two dogs. Oh, I didn't see the dog butt. <laughs> um, oh, that's the engine. Oh, <laughs> that's the. Mostly, just a simple. That's the one from uh, really? Too Sexy. Uh, Same engine. That's the one that he put in it as the quote unquote big block. But yeah. he said this was a 4G. I don't know if those are 4G, 6 Maybe it's they are. Maybe they're related. 6 3. It's like the wrong. Like, it's the the, uh, the right thing's in the wrong order for the one that you think that it's going to be. <laughs> so, this so, is like a super light single overhead cam, two valve or four valve engine. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So, like, if it does come with all the parts and I could throw it together. For 500 bucks, this feels like a nice like grocery getter car almost. Almost. But usually, I would prefer that to be running first. Yeah, yeah. But this is this. I is would not feel bad about scrap value. Taking this to a derby or something, <laughs> just <laughs> trashing it. And I think it'd be fine at that. Maybe, if it ever Maybe. ran again. That in itself would be the fun part. But then again, if you do get it running, then you're just stuck with an eclipse i know this is kurt's job but i need to look this up now mid it's got stickers it hasn't had a front bumper in a long time <laughs> 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 not a recent development okay so that's a fourth gen the one that you're looking at is a fourth gen mm -hmm. what's the third gen oh i had it backwards yeah the the stripey one is the third gen yeah that's what so I it's that. almost like they went like, I feel like the third gen looks more modern now. Like, the, 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 the stripey one looks more modern now than the fourth gen. The fourth gen one looks super dated. And that, I think, fourth, it in looks like, it, summary... Yeah, it seems like it looks like the second gen. Right. The third gen, yeah. Is like why Mitsubishi is no longer a thing. <laughs> they, they are? They're not. <laughs> There, there, there's their best shot of the shape of the car. Oh, so, from this angle, it just looks like an Audi. <laughs> uh, so that's the 4G <laughs> 6 9. Nice. Oh, the 6 9. Nice. Yeah. yeah, I think if you found one the V6 in a manual, it would be a good grocery getter. But with that four cylinder, probably not. Probably not. What did I find? Ah, I've been on the hunt for one of these lately. Um, the disrespected generation of Celica, even though they're kind of all disrespected, uh, <laughs> the first front wheel drive ones, I feel like, uh, someone needs to go out and preserve some of these because I think they're pretty cool looking. They just got kind of trashed because they were the front wheel drive one, but, uh, they have a pretty neat shape to them. And these are pretty much the only two I found in the entire East coast period. And that's kind of sad. Um, Do they all rust away? They, I'm sure rust was a big issue, but yeah, I think they were just much like all Celicas have become. 
they were disposable cars. Yeah. Like, trying to find this generation, or the rounder one that came after this, or the four headlight ones, or even, like, the, the edgy ones from the 2000s. They're just all gone. <laughs> they, they, they've they been high schooled to death. Which I'm sure, judging by the wheels and graphics, this one had <laughs> that. You don't like the big old chromies? No. <laughs> they're not quite chromies. I don't know. They're weird looking blobby. I will say they're not multi-lug. Oh, yeah. Points there. Points. Uh, one of the weird things about this generation is this is a notchback GT. So there's a notch and a fastback of this generation, and they're almost identical. <laughs> but this I one has do... the longer trunk. Yeah, I haven't seen this. I, I, I think this generation, I like the hatchback, the fastback, whatever, mm -hmm. better than this. This seems weird. <laughs> yeah, I go back and forth, but I, I almost feel like these are weird enough that I kind of like them. Mm -hmm. It does have some of that unfortunate effect like a coupe 240 but uh it, i i i kind of like it especially with the spoiler but uh i don't remember i think they wanted like uh they're just testing the white oh, they want to get rid of both like the the white one runs i think the the purple purple runs one. the red one has no rust but doesn't run gotcha so the white one's rusty but runs and the red one's not rusty but doesn't so, so just combine them. Take two cars, make one. I'd do it. I just for the sake of trying to make one of these exist in the future, <laughs> because uh, I don't know that they're going to. I don't They'll know. Still have the pop-up headlights, right? Yeah. Yeah, these are. They're still a whole yeah. other generation after this with pop-ups. There's. I have a acquaintance locally that has the same generation uh, Corolla, and they mm -hmm. look very. Or... Yeah, I saw one of those too, but somebody wanted, like, that's the funny thing, is that I think that's called the A91 or something like that? Uh, A90, AE92. AE92. Like, I was just looking at its Instagram just now. I saw one of those and I was like, those are cool too. They wanted $10,000 for it. Yeah. I'm, it's I'm, the same car. I don't know what the difference, maybe, I don't know what the difference between the Celicas and the Corollas of this era were. I think the Corolla was just like a tiny bit bigger, really. That's it. And and people love those things. Like they 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 have crazy value. And the Celicas is just like, well, that right there is some good scrap metal. <laughs> and it's just, uh, I think it's a little sad. Just a little sad. So hashtag save the Celicas. Listed 38 weeks ago. <laughs> They're having a hard time <laughs> saving the Celicas. <laughs> yeah, go out there if you're if you're a peruser of the cars for sale, try and find a '87 to I think it's like '85 to '90 or '85 something like to '89, yeah. something like that. Uh, Celica, and and just see how few of them there are. And maybe you'll be inspired to save a Celica Those today. Are hubcaps, right? There's a bunch of hubcaps stuck. Stacked on the back. There is a bunch of hubcaps stacked on the back. Probably off of the white one. Oh, okay. Same as Celica. Kurt? Um, if you have a Celica be right very now. good timing if I do. I do! Yes. Same as Celica. <laughs> <laughs> meant to be! <laughs> it was meant to be. I knew I had one in the lineup, but I couldn't remember where I put it, though. See? It was planned. Everybody's getting race cars, so I was feeling left out. And yeah. Here we have an 85 Celica road race car for $7,000. It is a notchback. Angry butt Celica. 22 RE. Five speed. Roll cage. Certified. Seat. <laughs> it's got a seat, everybody. It's got a seat. <laughs> MR2 front conversion, coilovers, lowering springs, logbook, got it all. Cross, sovereign, uh, C SCCA, blah blah blah, ready to race, cool graphics, and it has a title still. That's nice. Classic, yellow, orange, red Toyota. I don't know where the yellow, orange, red came from, or I like. That's a Mitsubishi thing. No, it's it's Toyota. That just reminds me of Rally Art. Yeah. 
I don't, they probably didn't know either. They were just like, yeah. hey, does this look cool? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it kind of does. That's the classic. Yeah. He just Side got exhaust. some vinyl to cut into squares. Right. <laughs> The, the center line wheels you would think would be bad, but they really work for this. Yeah. That's a, yep, that's a 22R. Very mm -hmm. stock, like <laughs> extremely stock. Well, somebody's got a problem. <laughs> I like the Capri. Yeah, I the Capri's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that angry butt though. It's oh, got the, the angry butt. Why does the rear bumper look even longer than usual? <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things. It's just like every time you see it, it grows an inch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I think that's too long for a title. I think we need to go back. I, didn't, I, don't, I was going to say something about the wing, but I think we've lost the narrative. Uh... I don't know if that's the right wing because the center post yeah. doesn't. No, yeah, I was gonna say that's a wing off of something else. But yeah, it's, it's no matter now. There's a, there's a race car for you in in it Oregon. Was, it, it's weirdly, I never noticed. Maybe because it's just in white, it almost has like a G body outline shape. Oh yeah, they definitely that was definitely what they were going for. Like up until the '90s, all the Japanese manufacturers were just like, cool. So. uh what have the Americans done that was popular? All right, <laughs> go ahead and work on that. <laughs> but make it smaller. But make it smaller, yeah, essentially. And in my opinion, did it better. <clears throat> so what the Americans were doing in the same time was a GMC Jimmy. 4.3 liter fuel injection. One owner, 48,000 miles, orig original miles, 7,500 bucks. What are your opinions on Jimmy's? Uh, I hate the fact Are that I have. Are they hustled? <laughs> <The> what? <laughs> Are they hustled? Jimmy's going down. Um, <laughs> I hate the fact that I've now lived through the phase of a typhoon being $7,500 to a 4.3 Jimmy being $7,500. <laughs> <laughs> I've now seen both ends of the spectrum. But it's turnkey drive any anywhere. It just needs minor cosmetics. No rust. Extremely good example. Like, I get the nostalgia, but these things were just like... They weren't great. They no. were crap. They were awful. But the two-door SUV is now basically completely dead. So... Yep. And this one's actually in nice shape. It still probably rattles like hell, but... <laughs> Seats aren't torn. I'm sure the HVAC makes that awful, like, <laughs> sound that they all make. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, my, my grandparents had one. Um, and, like, my gra my grandpa was the only one who drive, but he eventually needed to have the hand controls because uh, he couldn't use his legs. So that's what I remember about it. But, yeah, it always it sounded like a like a vacuum cleaner. Yeah. Like, when you started it up. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's like, I don't know what they did under the dash. But it, yeah, it always it always just sounded like a, no a, a glob of snakes have been released under the dashboard every time you turned it on. <laughs> glob of snakes, <laughs> that is the scientific term. <laughs> That's some weird rust. Yeah, I don't it almost looks like they spilled something on it and it yeah. ate the paint off. But it's like coming out of the seam there, so I don't know. Something worked under the paint. Oh, it's been respray. Go back. <laughs> Look at the overspray on the exhaust pipe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's always my favorite thing. They cover the wheels, they cover right. all the windows, and not the exhaust. Oh, this back seat. Yeah. It looks. I don't know. Look at the little like leather zipper pouches on the side. You have these like comfy armrest things. That's how you know it's a uh, GMC and not right. The, uh, you what paid. was the Chevy equivalent? Was it just a Blazer? I think it would have just been... Blazer? C10 Blazer? Or yeah, I don't even know if yeah. it was a Blazer yet, was it? Yeah, I guess it was a Blazer. I always hated these things so much. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I ever knew anybody that, like, had one, or just, like, ever 
Rode in one, S10, S15, Jimmy, uh, Blazer. It was just like, this there thing... Were always pieces of crap. ...is absolute garbage. <laughs> but you swap a uh, 5.3 and a turbo in there. Right. And your digital dash. Oh, I remember that. That's what I remember. I'm having, like, very minuscule flashbacks <laughs> of my grandparents' car. And yeah, the digital dash. Now that's pretty good. That That's real good. I love the digital tank that goes up to four and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing says the future. The orange pixel. <laughs> Nothing says future like 4,500 RPM. No, uh, no. It probably just went up to there and, and it was just, and then it started valve floated, you know, four. <laughs> uh, I miss digital dashes. And then now yeah. we're just on like LCD screens and... <laughs> I think I've said before that for a long, t for like 10 years ago, I was trying or going to put a LCD dash in the 240, which mm. was, was cool. And now that I've had like new cars that have LCD dashes, I'm like, give me an analog cluster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can't see them in the sun. It does suck. That does. I feel like the LCD dash is really just setting us up for no more dashes. Like we're just gonna have no instruments because it's made it's made having it like a nuisance. <laughs> so <laughs> eventually people are just gonna be like, well I don't want this at all anymore. <laughs> I do like that you can have like multiple different things on there. Or, yeah, like, that's that's on some cars you can be cute. like, oh what are my tire pressures? That's right. nice. But <sighs> glare. <laughs> and then like they don't run at high FPS. Speaking of nostalgia, has everybody here been in a go-kart that looks almost exactly like this? Probably Oh, not. I thought you were going to talk about the Muller Light, because that brings me back. <laughs> <laughs> no, these are good. These were the best go-karts. If you, if you never experienced a go-kart like this. I don't like think I've in one of these before. Really? The best thing about them is, is unlike like yard carts or things like that, all of the weight on these is like super down low. And I always thought if you could get one of these things like uncorked off of like the crappy, you know, yeah. go-kart track, they'd be a lot of fun. And uh, you never see them for sale. So when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I always wanted one of these. Probably because they all got like sun bleached and fiberglass damage. And yeah, I'm sure like... they just used them until they literally turned to dust. Like, uh, uh, oh, and. God. They could get wholesale, like the place closed down, somebody just buys the whole lot of them or whatever. Uh, but this one's like, I'm sure it's been, you know, I'm sure it has like thousands of hours on it. Poo in the seat over the years. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really, uh, it's really nice and like original and clean and everything. And, and I want no it. Bumping. No bumping. No bumping. Although, come on, like, you can't just put these all over the thing and then say no bumping. <laughs> like, what did you expect would happen? I don't I thought know. It was just like Gran Turismo, where you just rode the side of the rail or whatever. No, there was always the one kid that did that. <laughs> and there was always the one kid that didn't hit the brakes, like when everybody came in to like stop. Oh and God! Yeah. Caused the whole like <laughs> chain reaction of don't 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 don't. Whiplash, whiplash, dominoes. Oh yeah. I don't know if it's worth $1,200, but I want it. The fact that this was listed 10 minutes ago, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's got an alert set up. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is, uh, you know. Yeah. I feel like it probably has your, yeah, the basic Honda. Uh, you know what? You could probably actually tune that up pretty good. I'm sure it's, yeah, I'm sure it's limited. Yeah, like, I'm I, sure I they that's... put a hefty governor on these two. Mm -hmm. And look at those, like thick steel frame just so they last right yeah these things were built to to run hours and that's why it's in like completely immaculate shape like none of the fiberglass is cranked this thing is like just just like new and it's probably been hit on every square inch of it possible mm -hmm. 1200 bucks a little steep but for what go-karts go for these days it's not that bad and before anybody says anything, no, this is for me. Just don't, just don't. don't. <laughs> I mean, you're already looking at minivans. <laughs> I knew, like, I had all of this stuff for so long, and I just knew <laughs> somebody was going to say something. Kurt. Me? 
I never say anything. It's true. Um, it's uh-huh. fine. It's a uh, international paystar uh, model uh, fifty seventy. You know that's better than the fifty sixties. Okay. Uh, for fourteen five. Uh, no need. No nothing. Nothing at all. It's got a heavy front axle. Okay. Twenty two hundred pounds. Or 22,000 pounds, rather, with float tires. Very deep double frame. It's a very clean truck. Heavy-duty radiator. Only 126,000 miles. We Nothing gonna... worth mentioning. Yeah, we got to mention the... <laughs> of the rest of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Is this how I need to list the, uh, the parts truck? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Kudos for ingenuity on the uh, dolly <laughs> setup there. I was trying to figure out if it was like all-wheel drive or something, and the front axle was driven too, but I don't nope. think it is. Mm-mm. So you can't actually move it. I <laughs> thought it was a workbench. Like, there's a vice still on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for a workbench like that. Did you know how, you know how expensive plate seal is these days? <laughs> okay. So somebody needed a couple of rear axles and accidentally got a truck to go with it, huh? <laughs> that's, what it that's what it looks like. What do float tires mean? I was going to ask you. Y'all are the, like the snow runner experts. I don't think uh, I don't think we had the option of float <laughs> yeah, no. tires. We just oh, we hey, just. Well, what's this bus thing just... with the bucket in the background? What's this thing with a bucket in the background? Oh, the bus, bus thing. The bus thing. It's a bus. It's those are the exhaust. Yeah, they're keeping the motor from getting waterlogged. It's also got a AC unit. That's the thing I want. <laughs> Float. I don't see any. Uh, well, maybe it has a couple extras. Tires. Oh. oh, I thought that was fun. Sam, I did. good joke. Go quality, quality jokes. I'm still looking up float tires. You can't go on yet. Okay, I'll just sit here and wait patient, patiently. Wait for this timer to cross over. They are. They're floating. Ah. <sighs> What? All right, go, go on. I have to do some reading here. What am I <laughs> reading? Motor tires. You can't beat the flotation and traction. If anyone else is using floats on their truck, what does it mean? These trucks are not floating. Isn't that with snow or something? I don't know. I'm moving on. Because you thought your bumper car was cool. Uh huh. What about a mini Shelby Cobra? You got me. Also twelve hundred. Well, wait, twelve hundred dollars, but asking twenty nine hundred. I don't understand what's going on there. He says twelve hundred bucks. Twelve hundred dollars. Twelve hundred dollar in the paint. Oh well, I would still <laughs> only offer him twelve hundred bucks. <laughs> it's a little mini Cobra. I do not like quite it. A blob of snakes. It's not quite a blob of snakes, but. It is. I think this is like the same kind of chassis as a, as just like a yard cart, just with a fiberglass yeah. body on it. It's got those same looking uh, like Harbor Freight style wheels on them that aren't any good. Mm-hmm. No. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do I have to like? Is this whole episode going to get taken down now? <laughs> <laughs> Disney. Um, that was in preparation because the next thing after this is uh, the Best Pines and already know that. Uh, <laughs> I can't. Somebody's, anyway, somebody's going to we'll, tell me. We'll keep that Kurt in mind. Kurt forgot to do his uh, bit this week because it's uh, May the 4th. <gasps> Oh, it's a May the Fourth oh. episode. Yeah, I didn't have the effort to actually put effort, like, hmm. effort into this. So that's that's the only. All I have effort. is, <laughs> all, I, all I have is this. No. That was probably really loud in the recording. I hope it was. Uh, <laughs> Kurt, let me see your your Star Wars. My Star Wars. Nope. You remember <laughs> Zephyr. Spacecraft, right? In Star Wars, right? Yes. The Zephyr. No. No. Okay. No. Well, this is I. This was one of those things. I'm cleaning out my folder. Spring cleaning. A, a weird thing, but 
another one of these car cars that doesn't exist anymore, probably for good reason, because <laughs> I think it has like 85 horsepower. Oh yeah, it's 2.3. <laughs> but it's an 81 Mercury Zephyr manual, four speeds. I'm interested. Front disc brakes. Okay. It seems like it would, well, how much are they asking for it? 5,500. 5, it looks really nice, but I, I, it, I think it would, it would be, a, it would be slow, but it would be a slow hoot. I don't know if it'd be a hoot, as much as it would just be a, a nostalgic experience. Mm. If this were like, hello, Amex. If yeah. this were a, <laughs> like a five zero with a five speed, that would be cool. But it's not the two three. <laughs> oh, look at that red! Is your red is on your, red? On red. Is your, is your opinion like changing? Red interior. Burgundy. Burgundy. Burgundy on burgundy. Look at this! Look at this artwork. Ooh, oh, so fancy. Yeah, I was feeling I was feeling spry today. That's it. That's your best finds of the week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is the is that gonna change every time? Oh, is it? See through is the it? mask. Oh, if you did those his masks right, it would be very easy. And I actually did. Thank you very much. Jeez. <laughs> Will I remember to do it every week? Probably not. But it's time for the best find of the week. But first, we must review last episode's absolute blowout <laughs> 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 because, I mean, just look at it. Just look at it. I do feel bad that Kurt just wasted car on a stick. Wasted that? I had to mask off the car and do that Jeez. whole Photoshop job too? <sighs> yeah, Kurt's making the same face as Lady Liberty. <laughs> now, now is where you put in the, 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 uh, the, the Star Wars. No! <laughs> See, that's, Cannot do that. Definitely. Tied it in. Definitely cannot do that. 69% of the vote. Nice. Nice. ZK gets 16. Kirk gets 14. Those numbers actually add up. YouTube. This <laughs> time around, I don't quite have the same level of gold, but I do have a 2004 Ford Focus ZX3 Selene edition. Number 69. Not just number 69. Literally, the number 69, this is an actual Celine modified Ford Focus CX-3. Which, why did this exist? Because the 2000s. <laughs> is this one of the ones with the nitrous kit? It is! Yeah, it is! Just testing the waters. This is 2004 Ford Focus Celine N N20. That was the actual model name. Number mm -hmm. 69 of 88. One of 16 in this color. Five-speed trans. Uh, ground effects. Seven mile, thousand miles. Good, good job. They did it, yeah, right? They didn't just put this away. They used it. Uh, it's got, you know, all the crazy mods of the day on it. But most importantly, it has a quote-unquote factory ZX <laughs> nitrous oxide system in it. <laughs> With like matching a matching carpet. With matching carpet to go with it. <laughs> uh, can we also wow. take a moment to appreciate the twin exhaust that clearly favors one side? <laughs> <laughs> Did your carpet match your nitrous? <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know that the left pipe actually does anything. I don't know either. These are yeah, they literally made like what they said, like eighty of these. Eighty eight. Also, I just noticed the uh, vents on the dash are all the same vent, just randomly <laughs> thrown about the dash. This is, like, if, you, if you're, if you like, a little unaware, this is, like, the cheapest Focus they ever made. Like, this was, this was basic economy car Focus. Yeah, but, like, the ZX3, because uh, this was based off the, I think they did make the SVT model. Right. And... Those had like the Duratec or whatever they called them. Mm -hmm. They were actually pretty well reviewed and fun of their days. Right. But in like the sporty, super basic economy car kind of way. Yeah. And that body kit is just like lapped Stop. on top of 
that, the body kit that comes from the factory it just makes everything bigger yep that is the early 2000s and that <laughs> is how these came yep that's this is not after i think there's like i don't think the mud flaps were aftermarket i think those are different wheels than what they came yeah they're with definitely different thing. wheels i, I think. hope so the <laughs> fender flares are a bit exactly well, that, that, that was the style of the time yeah <laughs> just because you had fender flares didn't mean you had wide wheels <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, wing the bumpers, yeah. Head on over to Never Sleep Performance and find yourself this Celine ZX3. And the funniest, best tidbit about this car is it had a nitro system that wasn't hooked up because <laughs> they weren't allowed to sell it hooked up and provide you a warranty or meet EPA or whatever. So it had all the parts. But, like, the hose was just next to the bottle or something like that. It's kind of like when you bought a Dodge Demon. Kind of. Like, they would yeah. give you all the parts to make it into a drag racing car, but they couldn't put them on there from the factory. Mm -hmm. uh, except that, even with nitrous, this was dreadfully slow. <laughs> <laughs> and it was not tuned for it at all. Like, it wasn't like it was set up to run nitrous or anything. It just came with it. But number 69, come on. How, how, how is yeah, it possible? Yeah, actually being like on paper. Right. Of being like the most, I don't know, like this is like the epitome of someone who would make the 69 joke all the time as a car. <laughs> number 69. So uh, I hope you have some nice finds. Uh, I kind of held the theme here with your little go-kart situations but oh. the only place we're going is the internet information superhighway <laughs> on our great barn find gaming chair <laughs> this thing is cool as heck just check out the pictures <laughs> just check out the pictures half off 250 down from 500 ah. you yourself could have this gaming chair is it gaming chair? Like, was it even part of an arcade machine, or is this just like one of those? It seems like it's converted from an arcade machine, but oh, now okay. there is a place to put your gateway personal computer. I have one. <laughs> it's not set up for that though. Not one of those fancy vertical towers. Yeah. Horizontal, please. Yep. With the maybe your Xbox. With a sixty-five pound CRT sitting on top of it. <laughs> Look at the speakers. Look at all the speakers. You don't need rumble packs or motion. Wait a minute, they paid 199 for it. <laughs> ah, I didn't notice that. That's very funny. That is very funny. I this needs to be your new iRacing racing I, I unironically <laughs> want this. It's probably more comfortable. Yeah. I actually want this. That's great. Oh crap! I mean, cover, for two hundred bucks, right? For two hundred bucks, it's cheaper than like any other sim rig. Mm -hmm. I mean, you already told you you don't want to bolt a S thirteen seat to some plywood again, right? <laughs> there are some. It looks like a pedal thingy back. It's yeah, there's definitely away. some control stuff still with it for whatever it was for. Huh? More room for more speakers out the back. Mm-hmm. Maybe that was for NASCAR 2003. I I would think it's something I'm like... I'm just saying, what, what the computer, that they, that's what they turned it into. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to think of what the like actual game this would have been for. Know, it feels early. It's got whole high gear thing. Right. It's real common. I think it moves at all. Probably not. The, the shifter? No, the whole thing. You mean like on the wheels rolls? No, like you know how they would have the cars or whatever that would like lean. Oh no, days? this is way before that. I'm thinking this is like pole position era. Hmm. Someone's going to have to tell us. Yeah, the left we right mean, like, arrows nerds. make me think that there's something like you could have like used a blinker or something. And then there's a forward and back. I don't know. It, that's that's a that's a mystery. Real mystery. That's a real mystery. Gaming chair. Gaming chair. <laughs> the fact that they listed it as a gaming chair is what. It's very <laughs> funny. So we have a weird looking 
SRT Viper Coupe Corvette thing? It's actually a 1974 Sterling, rare and wild. Yeah. Runs strong, drives and stop, power tops work, power headlights work. Super cool. Power top. Yeah, this is this is the this is like a like oh, the whole thing like a, okay. like a whirp? Sterling sports car kit. California Component Cars Inc. This might Number be 576. One of the best looking I assume bug kit cars that I think I've ever seen. From the outside. The interior's a little hand built looking little? <laughs> What's with that coaster that's like on the bottom? Of the <laughs> I don't know. There's something about the leather on the center console being loose that just gives me heebie jeebies. It's like. <laughs> it's very skin. Old people skin. It's very skin. But like, <laughs> that actually looks pretty decent. Yeah, and this thing is real low, too. Mm -hmm. Like, if you. I know it's a weird angle, but. Those are probably, what, 15s, 17-inch wheels at the max? Right. And then compared to the doors in the background. And the whole roof opens up. God, that's such a death trap. Like, if you oh, roll over, so it's just good. like... We're done here. No, the, the, the little side windows are vent windows. You can totally pop those. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's all fiberglass from, from the dash up, so you're going to be squished anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um... But it does look super cool. And this paint job. Yeah. Yeah, I like the paint job. A lot of times you just see these as like the bare right, unfinished. fiberglass or whatever, unfinished. And the wheels match, like super wide rear wheels. It's got a weird looking butt. Weird looking, but acceptable. Way. Yeah. <laughs> like weird in a good way. Yeah. And I think it is a bug. Oh, it's definitely a bug. I can tell yeah. by the steering wheel, the dash, the seats, and, uh, you know, the bug engine. <laughs> <laughs> no parts are available. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think you've done it. I think you've found the best bug. I, I actually would drive this. Like, yeah. I don't quite have $12,000 to pay for this right now, <laughs> nor a spot for it, but, like, this is actually cool. Like, legitimately cool, not just in an ironic way. Agreed. Although it probably looks real stupid with the pop-ups up. Oh, I'm sure. They don't work <laughs> anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I think he said the power headlights worked. Yeah. And T-tops don't leak, right? <laughs> well, this doesn't have T-tops that leak. The whole clamshell. Yeah, the whole clamshell is going to leak. <laughs> wow. So that's quite a range there. You have... Um, the the early 2000s personified in a modified focus you have uh uh kurt's you know early gaming history or you have the best bug ever built there you go vote in the poll down below and that will be our episode episode 77 of ran when parked thanks for watching with you. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I hate it. I really hate it. Like I know, I hate these stupid pretty, corporate holidays. Pretty much every time someone says that, <laughs> I hate Star Wars like 3% more. So I'm sorry, Mouse. Go away. <laughs> no, I don't have any. <laughs> uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. CK's gone. Like He's, he's actually left. The mouse got him. Yeah. <laughs>